okay as we have already discussed in the previous video uh, it is why very easy to calculate the value of uh, the encoded output okay so I'm just rewinding the terms uh, we have explained about the sample where n equal to 1 that's equal to 4 and we have said that error was 0 sorry error was uh, 4 minus 0 that is equal to 4 and uh, after in, after quantizing we'll get the delta value as the error signal is positive so the delta is taken as 3 we were considered the delta as c as 3 uh, in our problem okay we can see the delta is equal to 3 this is uh, what we have assumed so as this 4 minus 0 is 4 that is a positive value we can say that the delta is positive so the encoded will be the bit will be 1 okay the 1 will be encoded okay that is what we have explained while uh, it is being encoding at the same time itself it will go to the comparator what happens here is it will this delay circuit will be con com calculating delta what it will be calculating delta plus this term okay I'll write this here okay u of n minus 1 ts okay what is this at first u of n minus 1 ts is u of 0 ts what is that that's equal to delta delta is 4 sorry sorry uh, delta is 3 and u of n minus 1 ts is uh, u of 0 ts that's equal to what is that that's equal to 0 so the delay circuit will get what 3 okay this is the u of n minus 1 ts sorry this is the u of n ts okay is it okay 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 so uh, here we get a u of n t s as equal to 3 am i right that is equal to u of 0 t s am i right it is u of 0 t s for n equal to 0 this u of n t s will be there okay this we have to consider next i will take another color uh, let it be pink okay okay uh, for next sample that sample is 6 okay the sample incoming sample x of n t s is 6 then the x of x dash of n t s will be what will be x dash of n t s that we have calculated that is the value 3 okay that is 3 so that is x of x dash of 2 ts am i right that is x dash of 2 ts and this x dash of 2 ts will be 3 is it okay this 3 will be coming here and uh, 6 minus 3 that is the output of the comparator am i right x of n t s minus x dash of n t s that is 6 minus 3 is equal to the error signal that is 3 and this error is positive okay this error is positive then what we can say is error is positive so the delta is equal to 3 this is already given okay what will be encoded encoded will be yes it will be 1 because the, the error is positive 
so just take another color let it be green mm, okay next what happens is uh, i'll show this okay yes n coordinate will be one and this delta will be coming here delta is again three okay delta is again three this delta plus what was u of n minus 1 ts that is for n equal to this is for n equal to 2 so for n equal to 2 n minus 1 will be u of 1 ts what was u of n 1 ts that is 3 ok 3 plus 3 you will get it as 3 plus 3 will be equal to 6 am i right okay now the 6 will be the next x dash of n t's what is the x dash of the 6 will be x dash of 3 t s this u of n t s calculator will be coming here okay that is x dash of n t s okay so just take another color it may be blue okay that's blue okay let's see that yes uh, 8 it is the next sample so it will be coming here and this is x dash of 3 t s was 6 and uh, what happens is x 8 minus 8 minus 6 what is 8 minus 6 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 again the error is positive then what happens is as error is positive we will encode it as 1 then what happens this 2 will be no this not this 2 this uh, sorry not this 2 the delta delta is 3 ok delta will be coming to the comparator this delta will be coming what happens is uh, 3 delta that is delta plus u of n minus 1 ts what was u of n, n minus 1 ts u of n of n ts is uh, were n equal to 3 ok so n minus 1 ts is u of 2 ts that is 6 ok that that is uh, 3 plus 6 will get the output as 9 and this 9 is the x dash of what x dash of uh, 3 ts ok this 9 is the x dash of 3 ts ok then what happens? I'll take another color. Let it be brown. All these colors are similar. Okay, brown and we will take it as uh, violet. Next, what happens is this nine will be coming here, and the next sample is also again eight. So this will be coming here. Nine eight minus nine will the air will get the error as minus 1 am I right am I right ok so this minus 1 is the delta so it is negative it will be encoded as minus delta am I right so it will be encoded as 0 it will be encoded as 0 ok then it will be coming to the comparator again and what is the incoming signal to the summer that is minus 1. It's minus 1 will be coming here. And the u of n minus 1 ts is x dash of 3 ts. That is equal to 9. And this 9 will be coming here. This will be added together. And 9 minus 1 will be getting the output as u of n ts will be equal to 8. And again this 8 will be coming as output of the delay circuit. Okay. 
uh, the eight will be the output of the delay circuit and we will get again an incoming signal six and this six minus eight will be calculated and what is the six minus eight is equal to minus two the error is minus two and it will be encoded as zero and then this uh, minus 2 will come in here and the previous signal was here it was 8 so 8 minus 2 it will be 6 and 6 will be coming here and the delay will be produced and the delay produced will be equal to 6 okay like that it will be continuing okay is that okay okay, okay then uh, we have to discuss about the DM receiver okay this is a block diagram of the DM receiver. This is similar to that of the uh, DPCM that we have already seen. There will be a decoder at the input side of the receiver. The input will be in the form of a digital uh, waveform that will be 110 like that. And uh, the decoder will decode the digital to the discrete value and then it will be then again back converted to analog value am i right here there is a uh, there is a comparator and the comparator will produce x of nts and uh, the lpf will produce what an analog signal at the output this is a delay circuit and this will be acting as a feedback and an x of n minus 1 ts will be produced by this uh, this is a very simple thing uh, I think no need to have more explanation based on this if required just you can uh, we can say an example will be let uh, the incoming signal uh, we can consider that uh, delta is 3 and x of n minus 20 is 0 then at the initial condition and delta and x my x of n minus 1 ts will be compared and x of n ts will be produced and um, this lpf will only pass only low frequency signals okay and as well as a feedback will be coming to the comparator again this x of n ts may be a zero if initial condition uh, we have delta is equal to 3 and uh, x of n minus 1 t is, is equal to 0 then it will be uh, uh, producing x of n t is that's equal to 3 and this will be again going back to the delay circuit through this block and uh, will be going back to the comparator okay like this it will be going on uh, this is not uh, much explanatory i think uh, just move to the next part okay then uh, what are the disadvantages of delta modulation uh, we know uh, for each type of modulation there are many disadvantages as well as advantages let's have a look at okay first one is slope over node distortion and another one is granular distortion at first we can just look at slope overload distortion here for the slope overload distortion we can see the message signal have the slope that is much much higher than the step size uh, that is the d by dt of x of t uh, i can i will write it here again okay. the step size is defined as sorry the slope is defined as the uh, d by dt am i right the incoming signal is x of t okay d by dt of x of t is greater than that of the step size what is step size that is delta and this equation is used here delta by ts d by dt of x of t is greater than delta by ts then that is known as an error called slope overload distortion this is a kind of distortion while the x of t is greater the slope of the x of t is greater than that of the step size the staircase waveform that has been produced uh, using the x of t uh, after modulation process will be approximated to signal u of t and this 
U of T signal will be lagging behind the actual message signal. If this is a wave waveform, and let it take, I'll take another color. Yes. Okay, uh, this will be the staircase waveform. Okay, this type of a waveform will be producing. Am I right? Okay, if uh, the waveform produced is Uh, if this waveform is uh, like uh, slope is uh, here it is saying that slope is more for the x of t so the slope is more so the the staircase waveform will come inside this okay this uh, staircase is this is u of t this one and this one is x of t this is x of t this is u of t so this uh, slope will be less the slope will be greater than that of the step size this is the step size I'll show it in the next slides okay uh, hence uh, there is a large error between the u of t and x of t the signal gets distorted due to this difference okay and uh, the recovery will not be possible this type of noise or error is known as slope overload distortion and uh, we can see the next type of distortion that is granular distortion or idle noise it's also known as idle noise let's see this waveform okay this is slope overload distortion that is this x of t is greater than that of the, the slope of this one is greater than that of the step size of this uh, staircase waveform okay this staircase waveform is produced by approximation process am i right okay that all things we have studied in the previous lectures okay here in the granular distortion we can see granular distortion is just the opposite of the slope overload distortion that is the x of t the message signal x of t have the slope much smaller than that of the step size this is one step now the step this is the first step and this is the second step and the difference between these two steps is known as the delta that is a step size am i right and this t is is the sampling time period okay we have said that equation in the previous slide again okay. so uh, here we can see that the the slope of this message signal is much much smaller than that of the step size that's why it is known as granular distortion and uh, the u of t will be oscillating around the actual message signal this will be oscillating this actual message signal will sorry this u of t will be actually uh, oscillating around the actual message signal but in the case of slope overload distortion it will be lagging behind the actual message signal this means that for very small variations of the input signal the u of t is getting changed by a large amount due to large step size am i right here the d by dt d by dt of x of t d by dt of x of t is less than delta by ts that is that's given by the statement that is for small variations in the input signal u of t is getting changed by large amount that is the step size is much much greater than that of the slope okay of the actual signal am I right and uh, there uh, is a solution for this kind of uh, noises or distortion that is to consider delta as optimum value delta optimum is calculated and this is given by the formula slope of the message signal divided by fs that is slope what is slope d by dt d by dt of x of t divided by fs will give the value for delta opt that is optimum value for the step the step size is 
its optimum value is calculated to reduce all these errors okay that's all that's all about all the slope slope overload as well as granular distortion and uh, we have uh, discussed about the uh, block diagram the transmitter and receiver part of the delta modulation and how the samples are getting transmitted how these are getting decoded uh, all those things we have studied in this uh, particular lecture and uh, in order to what are the Mm, what are the conditions to be adapted in order to reduce the granular as well as slope overload distortion all those things we have discussed this is a major question that is coming from this uh, this area of the uh, module okay slope overload, overload distortion is a very important topic has been asked in the previous uh, question papers okay so uh, that's all for today okay thank you